What's good, YouTube? Devil 92 here, back again once again. Today, people, today we're here for episode number 21 of our Pokemon Soul Link randomized Nuzlocke with the tallest penguin of our Pokemon Sun and Moon Soul Link randomized Nuzlocke with the tallest penguin hey. on the land, Mr. Shady Penguin. What's going on, Shady people in Nappy Nation? Shady Penguin here. In the last episode, you guys, which was over on Shady's channel, linked in the description mm. below, you should go and check it out. It was kind <laughs> of wild. We visited the Dimensional Research Lab, and we also got a pretty off-the-wall pair. Yeah! Uh, off-the-wall wild pair that was added to the team. So you should definitely go back and check it out if you missed out on that. Uh, but in today's episode, we are heading through Diglett's Tunnel to Coney Coney City. So that is mm. new encounters aplenty. So if you guys are hyped for today's episode, and of course, I'm going to show you support proud of the Nappy Nation or the Shady people, make sure you hit the like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. Shady, are you ready to give them the quickest team recap of our lives? I'm doing it. I'm down. Ready? Let's go. Oh, first, we have good boy, gooder boy at least, uh, our Ziggurat level 31 with the expert belt and power construct, rack and dragon breath, land breath, bite, and extreme speed. Gooder boy is linked with PD, the Karna Vine, Rock and Phoenix Hat, Growth Leaf Tornado, and Vine Whip. Up next, we have Star Scream, who praises Lord Megatron, our Mega Beedra level 30 with adaptability, rock and 20 with pursuit, brick break, and acrobatics. And of course, Beedra is linked with Penance, my Penance, rock and counter, miracle, safeguard, and destiny bond. Then we got Brock. One half of the Brock and Sock connection, level 30, holding the scope, lands with Rock Head, Rock and Rock Tomb, Low Kick, Fanny Attack, and Tearful Look. He's got socks, I got socks, you got socks, we got Sock, Puma, Rock and Brick Break, Bulk Up, Karate Chop, and Low Sweep. Then we got Jeffrey, who is a part of our pseudo starters, our Magmar level 31, clutching that Atari Knight with Flame Body, Rock and Flame Burst, Brick Break, Fanny Attack, and Smoke Screen. And Jeffrey is in with Kung Pao, the Giratina, Rock and Dragon Claw, Ominous Wind, Earth Power, and Shadow Sneak. Then we have Man Spreading, our Sylveon level 30. Uh, with Big Root and Cute Charm, Rock and Draining Kiss, Swift, Quick Attack, and Misty Terrain. And, of course, Man Spreading is linked with Stainless, who I failed you guys by not leveling up, so the defense is exactly the same. Rock and Slam, Stealth, Rock, Rock, Tomb, and Gyro Ball. I'm sorry. I forgot about that. I would have said, Shady, go, get, go do a wild battle right now. <laughs> <laughs> and then, last but not least, the newest <sighs> members to the squad. Yeah! Tuesday, our... Uh, Toxapex, level 18. Don't worry, the EXP shares on. We're gonna get caught up. Uh, who's very limber with the Mystic Water Rock and Skull, Bite, Peck, and Toxic Spikes. And of course, Tuesday is linked with Hulk, our Tornadus Rock and Swagger, Bite, Brick Break, and Acrobatics. Mm. Acrobatics Whoa. is gonna hit like a. Whoa! That was Whoa. so special! Do you see it shoots the, the, the pin on top? Oh, on, yeah. Wait. Do it again. Do it again. The ones that are like. Not the one on the top, just the ones around it. The ones Come, around it. What, what are you doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. <laughs> Crazy. Anyways, we need to get our next encounter in Diglett's Tunnel, which is your boy's chance to go first. So yeah. Shady set the bar pretty high with the tornadoes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can beat that, but let's see what we can get here in Diglett's Tunnel. First encounter. Terrakion! Let's see. I will hey. take that! I will take that! Huh? That that's a good Pokemon. That is a good Pokemon. Female ground. Oh. Type. Oh. It's Th gonna that's be female. Still a... Will it be female? Are all uh, yeah. female? No, it's male. No. You can have a male Roserade. That's true. Roserade's Roserade's great. Roserade is fantastic. There's, I was gonna there's... say Roserade Crocodile is a monstrous pair. Yeah. No, that's that's, what, a that's good one pair. of those pairs. That's like an A tier pair. Like, yes. you have S tier pairs, and then you have like B and C tier pairs. Like, A yeah. tier, like, neither Mon is bad. No. You know what it is? When I look at Badoo, I honestly don't think Roserade. I just think, oh, Badoo. But, you know, yeah. I did the quizzing myself on all 807 Mons, and the second attempt, I typed Roserade in fourth gen and completely forgot about Badoo. Oh my god. I don't know how. I would, I didn't even think of the baby form. I was like, what? Mm. I'm gonna quick ball this turn one. I always forget to use quick balls. I'm doing it turn one. Bink. Well, I'm gonna name this thing Forgotten then, because literally it was forgotten in Nappy's second challenge. Mm. Poor Badoo. Turn one quick ball. I'm not adding you to my party. I can't because uh, Zygarde's ground, primary ground, right? No, or is it primary dragon? dragon. Wait, so are we making moves? Do you have a do you have a ground type? Do we have a ground type? Oh, I have my Carnivine, which is linked with your um Zygar. Good boy. Oh, so never mind. No. It's the same, it would no. be the same pair of removing anyway. That's funny. No! Hey, you know what? This is 
serious that's, power on the PC. Liability is normally a, a big burly man, but I think I'm still gonna name this will be our first lady liability. Mm, I think that I think liability fits for a female as well. I don't think you even got a stress. I think it's a great name. Whoa. Whoa. It is a great name. Liability. I'm so happy. <laughs> you know we're not even using I'm just happy. Yeah, there's this is there. like when we had High Dragon. Remember we had a high dragon, Shady? That ah! was insane. I remember. Never mind. I was gonna. Never mind. I don't want to. I was gonna say. I remember when you had a Garchomp too. But whoa, that's just that's just, that's just not nice. That's just not nice. Too soon, Shady. Too soon. Whoa. Did you do Olivia? Right, you did. Yes, you did. Whoa. Oh, I'm just hold on a second. Listen, it's I listen. Whoa. I still, I have the Wobbuffet in my party, guys. You can calm down. I have the Wobbuffet in my party. <laughs> Oh, so Link, wasn't it? <laughs> Look here. This cave really is something, you know. It's overflowed, these Pokemon called Diggly. And they're really getting out of hand. Mediocre trainers can't even get through. So, how's your island challenge go? <laughs> Ignore all that. Let's see which crystals you earn. Mm hmm. Look at you, so Link. Nice work. I've even seen you pass Mallow's trial. It's about time you had some fun with me. The Diggly has settled down, too. If you are as strong as you appear, you should be able to make it through this cave. At the other end of it, you'll find Coney Coney City. That's where my shop is. I'll see you there. Coney Coney so, City. We got a Coney Coney City. Well, we can't get a Coney Coney City encounter. But we got a Diglett's Tunnel encounter. I'm pretty sure we can get an encounter on the route afterwards. And then we get fossils in Coney Coney City. Ooh, nice. That's awesome. I'm honestly, I'm uh, guys, I'm going to throw up a rappel. I'm just trying to explore for a little bit. There's going to be trainers for me to fight. I'm going to fight these trainers. Yeah. Yeah. And get this Tornadus up to up to speed. I want him. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Put a shirt on. I, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave with man spreading. Ooh. I'm gonna try out this. Uh, I, I used a uh, gooder boy the last episode. I you did. Rock out with man spreading. I just want you to know, shit. I encountered a Cherubi just now, and that would have been. <laughs> <laughs> would have been something. That would have been. Did you really swagger? No, you confuse raid me. You confuse raid me. Okay. All right. That's fair. Um, much more, so I have a, uh, we're, this is on your channel right now, right? Uh, yes. Yes, indeed. Okay. I have a question for you. Do you think that it should be no nipples or all nipples? So I was having this argument this past week about how, like, it's a fine for men to have their shirts off and women can't have their shirts off. And I want to know your opinion on the whole matter. Um, I, think I don't think we've ever had this conversation. I have a shiny Morlaw. Oh, that one I did recognize immediately because Morlaw is so insignificant that I remember it. But wow. Okay. That's how crazy it is. I remember Morlo because it's so insignificant. Yo, Shiny Morlo is actually really cool. Whoa. Yeah, it is pretty cool. And apparently, a couple episodes back on Shady's channel, I had a Shiny Zapdos on my screen. I didn't even realize it because yep. regular Zapdos and Shiny Zapdos are almost identical. And even then, when the little star showed up, you can see in the video, I was looking at Shady's screen, so I didn't even see it. But in the case of nipples, <laughs> I think it's one of those things where it's, I think it's more so... It's like curse words because it's like, at the end of the day, curse words are still just words, but yeah. society has developed it into so much more than just what it is. So in that sense, I think it's, I I don't Ooh. think it's something that's ever going to change Yeah. because you know, with pornography and sexualization of women and this and that, and yada, you know, this conversation can go all different directions all different routes but i i don't think it's ever going to change would i mind personally no it doesn't really matter to me at the end of the day I but at purpose. the same time uh i i don't think that's something that's ever going to change yeah i i mean i guess i don't know i ended up falling in the camp or like i understand it because like i mean i can't i can't fully under i, I don't know i can't fully understand it because like I don't know. They they are different. They're they're different. Let's just you know let's just leave it at that. They're different, so I understand why they have different rules. I I I wasn't on the camp of like oh yeah everyone should just be naked all the time because like our bodies we are physically attracted to things, so I understand why 
certain things work, but then I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think, just, was... I think it, it goes back to, again, that notion of, like, societal norms. Because if you walk down the street and you saw someone, you saw a woman with no shirt on, you'd be like... Yeah, yeah, on, yeah, man. that's true. Yep. Whereas, like, people in nudist colonies, like, it doesn't even phase them. Yeah, and honestly, in in some other not, like, not, not first world countries, I guess, maybe some, I don't know. But like it's not that big of a deal. Like nudity is a completely different thing. Like super common in art, like su like really common in art, where you'd see it walking down the street, you'd see different paintings or statues or whatever. Um, but I gotta find where you are. And oh, am I gonna have to fight this guy? Okay, I don't. Cool. No, he's the one beat everyone in this area, then come see. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, here we That's go. That's a firestone, by the way. If you want it. Uh, I will. I will grab that afterwards. Whew! With Olivia in charge, we finally managed to make some headway against these Diglett. Huh! Oh, hello, la. We're members of the Aether Foundation. We were actually support Pokemon Conversation. Not Conservation, Conversation. It's a lady grunt. It yeah, seems we... the Team Skull were responsible for the Diglett in this cave getting so riled up and bringing them all to the surface. Oh, Team Skull is a group of troublemakers, you see. They seem to delight in interfering with trainers and their Pokemon. Diglett normally live in elaborate systems of underground tunnels that take years to dig out. We're here to ensure that they return to their tunnels and let people pass through there, through here, without having to fight so many Pokemon. Some of the Diglett are stuck on or near the surface, though, so be careful. Hmm. What good, well, wholesome bunch? Well, I have a question for you now, Shady. Okay, okay. This is on my channel, right? This is your chat. This is your channel, right? No, uh, it doesn't matter. No, no, that's that's irrelevant. But, um, so I had this conversation in Dark Rising. And at okay. the time that we're recording this, I haven't seen uh, the comment section the from that episode yet. Yeah, I haven't seen the results yet. Um, but the time that this goes up, we'll see the results. But maybe some of you guys didn't see the episode, so you can comment on it as well here. But if I were to ask you to write out the sentence this is num nexus's channel how would you do so to write it out yes so i go capital t <laughs> h i s is that what you're asking i mean there's no way there's no way for everyone else watching to understand like if if we were just talking not in recording i would just ask you to type it out Okay, but we can't do it and visually yada yada yada. I'm just I'm the what the point I'm trying to get at is how would you pluralize num nexus? Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. How would you how would you show possession on num? Nexus? Let me see. This is num nexus's. That's what I probably would do initially. It's probably wrong. Let me see. I didn't do an extra no. s. I. You see, but okay, so basically what Shady just typed up is he typed num nexus apostrophe. And that's it. Look at man spreading. Look Woo! at man spreading go. Um, and the, the, the conversation came up because in Dark Rising, they use both. And I got triggered because I was like, I don't care which one you use, just pick one. But uh, me, okay. like me growing up, I was taught to show possession on a name that ends with S you just put apostrophe and that's it because apostrophe s looks stupid it looks like you're typing nexus or something yes yes but then apparently like come like middle school and high school all of a sudden now it's grammatically correct either one is grammatically correct i don't know but i mean i like hmm. i said i don't i don't mind which one you use i would just use nexus apostrophe yes then okay th the question hits closer to home shady uh oh. Because now, do you say legends or do you say legendaries? Uh, I more often than not, I more often than not probably say legendaries. I mean, I grew up saying legendaries, so I think I would probably say legendaries as well. Yeah. Like just by default. But yep. if you step back and think about it, like I've been trying to change it and for me to say legends. Because mm -hmm. legendary, that's where the 
the pluralizing comes for. Legendary is an adjective for the word Pokemon. So why are you uh, pluralizing the adjective? Wouldn't you pluralize? So technically, noun. wouldn't you say legendary Pokemons? Yeah, but the plural of Pokemon is Pokemon. Yeah. Oh, but then yeah, if yeah. you're trying to show if you're trying to show possession, that is the legendary Pokemon Stone. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're right. So you would I have to. That, do, I, yeah. I did say that wrong. Yeah. So Pokemon, yeah. the plural Pokemon is Pokemon. So legendary Pokemon, all these legendary Pokemon. Yes. But so then, but apparently, legends and legendaries are both grammatically correct. You can say either or. Wow, that's weird. Because I are would you, just is, say legends. Like, I, like in my PC, I have all these legends. Yeah. I wouldn't say all these legendaries. Oh yeah, you know what? Maybe I would never say legendaries. I don't say legendaries like that. I was still on the possession thing. No. Yeah. No, I don't. I think I've always just said legendary Pokemon. No, I don't know. I don't know. Now I'm all twisted. I'm twisted up. I feel. I, I don't, don't know. know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm not an English major. It's just a question that came up. So that's I was going to say. Like, I've, I haven't seen the response from the Dark Rising episode, but yes. then we'll see the response on this one as well. So mm. either way, let us know what you guys think. Yeah. What? Ah! No way. Just when things are starting to heat up, yo, I got surrounded by Diglett and beat up, yo. Yo, since when can Diglett use beat up? I'm so mad that now I want to beat up on some fools. Don't be mad because you were the fool who was dumb enough to be here right now. Ho! Oh, so Link. Look at ya. <laughs> oh, I was wondering who you are playing around with without me. And it's Team School. Oh, School. You want some? That's how we say hello. Nice knowing you, punks. Mm. You want some? That's how we say hello. That's how we say hello. You want some? Whoa! Mm. I got double ace trainers. Mm. The ace duo. Mm. Mm. Gastronon and Galissapa. Woo! Woo! Wowzers. Look at these. That's Good pretty boys. scary. And Hal sends out a Nuzleaf. You know what? That's perfect. That is perfect. That's just great! Uh, I'm gonna brick break this bear tick. So you best not get in my way. Yeah! What's a bear tick? Fairy. Why would you fake out the use razor leaf on the quad effective? Come on. <laughs> oh, no. We're about to get swept. Oh no, it's raining. I'm about to get swept. You know what? Let's yeah, calm let's down. This. I'm gonna use misty terrain. Let's make this screen lag as much as possible. No, and you have an old 3DS. It's over. The game is over. I'm gonna do it. Why are you fade attacking the game? How? You are triggering me. It's time. <laughs> it's time. Look at this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, he's water he's... bossing me in the rain. Wait. Okay, we're bulky enough. We're bulky enough. You're bulky. You're bulky. I was gonna say, all you need is a couple uh what are they called? Oh my gosh. What what is Kyogre and Groudon's alternate forms called? Primal. I mean uh, yeah. Primal. Primal, yes, yes. Yeah, prime, you need a couple primals and you'll be nice and slow. Yeah, or a Mega Venusaur using Leaf Seed. Yeah. Can we just, like, can you please, I know you have Razor Leaf. Click Razor Leaf, dog. What are we doing here? I don't know what's I'm happening. I'm just getting, oh, I was going to say, I'm just getting Water Pulse. <laughs> razor Shell. Whoa, he just tried to Razor Shell me. And it missed? Yeah. Ooh, you got to be careful. This is the double bat, like, He's randomized. We got a rain dance up with two water mons. Why does Razor he Shell? just use his grass type move, man? What is going Yo. on? I was gonna say a razor shell in the rain. Stab razor shell in the rain with a chance to crit. Is terrifying. That From a glissapod. That might have been a little bit. He has fake out mm. and faint attack. That's all he's used so far. Oh my goodness. This is my last draining kiss. This, he clicked razor wind. What Ow! is happening? Do we kill? Nope. I guess that razor wind next turn is gonna do its job. <laughs> see the rain stop. See, I was gonna say like when you use a terrain as a move, it doesn't end. You have to change the terrain. But when it's oh, an wow. ability, I think it it uh has a chance to end. It's only available for a certain number of turns. Yeah, because like, weird... when you when you send out a Tapu Bulu. Yeah, it, it only, only goes lasts five for so turns. long. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> I have no more draining kisses, so. Oh, like... well, hopefully this is the last trainer battle in this area. We're, do we're done using man spreading for this episode. <laughs> yo, step off. Enough with the beating up, yo. We may not be trying to take over the world or nothing, but we're still hard as bone out here. Hard as and bone. there they go. See you on the flip side. Oh, man, so Link, when I fight with you, it's like even me Pokemon feel more at ease. You really are some kind of trainer. That's it. I just got to give you something. That's very specific, huh? Max, Max Eaters Ether. will restore all the PP to one of your moves, you know? Pretty great, right? Now I'm gonna have some more fun with these Diglett. See ya. Mmm, he's trying to move. He is trying to move. Okay. Oh, bam, we're right here at the edge. Nice. Mm. Wait. Yeet. Hold up. I think I'm gonna... We're gonna leave with Brock. Brock's gonna get a chance to shine now. Brock's hey. gonna get a chance to shine. I'm gonna go in here, because I just want to see if there's a Zygarde thingy in here. But I don't think it really matters anymore, because... Like, I already have my 50% form, so... Yeah, so you're pretty much good. Uh, I just I can't believe... Uh, hmm. I can't believe you have a gooder boy. That's so crazy. I have a gooder boy and a best boy. You do. At the just, same just, time. Below half or 75%, whatever it is. Oh, Infernape, I will let Hulk take you on. 100%. Oh, you better watch. You better fake out Thunder Punch, you shady. You better watch Yo, yourself. Honestly, pure flying is such a good type. Is that what you think? It's so good. This trainer has a level 28? That's yeah. I put Brock out front. Look at this. Brock just gets smacked up, doesn't care. Mmm. Yo. Eats it. Yo. Eats it. Yo. 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 Look at my boy Brock. Look at my boy Brock. It's a girl. I can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it. Look at my boy Brock. Yo. Too used to it. So, I, I know Shady, Shady and I had this conversation before, but you guys watching, like, each Soul Link is so, like, specific and, like, memorable. But from us, you know, we play through so many Soul Links at this point, we don't remember everything. I can't remember if Brock evolved in the Black and White Soul Link. I don't think Brock evolved. I think we put him back could in be the wrong. PC before they evolved. Possibly. I don't know. I do not know. Um, I think we put it back in the PC, but if not, then hey, Brock came back and Brock evolved. How about that? Hey, exactly. I, know, I don't think Brock evolved because I think I missed Mimic. Yes, I that's I what Mimic. I think. That's what I think would happen. Mm -hmm. So that's what I me think, thinks. Uh, on this route, Shady, I believe you can get an encounter right here in this fishing spot. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, I don't know what what route this is, the number exactly. But I'm pretty sure yeah, that's weird. Route. I mean, an, an encounter right here. Whoa, oh, Mies, relax. Got me all starry-eyed. Calm down. I don't even know what mm. we just used. Was that wish just now? Wish upon a star? Is that what happened? It's probably wish. Illumis likes to make wishes. I wish this Illumis was a Volby. I know that much. Mm. Mm. Okay, be gone. Tuesday is just getting them levels. Tuesday wants Tuesday. to play Toxics. Toxics? All right. Should I keep Toxic mm. or Toxic Spikes? Uh, I think I honestly like Toxic more. Uh, in an LP, I think I like Toxic Spikes more. Because, like, you can literally set that up at the beginning of an important trainer battle. And then, bam, every Pokemon's getting Toxic that comes in. Okay. All right. So okay. you said we might be able to fish here. Whatever route this is. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna go back in Diglett's Cave. Then come back out. Uh, but either way, it's your it's your encounter first. Okay, so I'm gonna try to skip to my loom. I'm gonna put PD out front. Come on, PD! So let's see here. This is Route Nine. And this is the only area on Route Nine. Yes. Because I'm pretty sure Memorial Hill is the next area. So this is considered Route Nine. I got Memorial. Growlithe. I'm not I'm not mad. I love Growlithe. Of Arcanine. You and you just got a Firestone, right? I didn't pick it up, but I can go snag it. Um, You didn't get an Arcanine, right? Why don't, you did get I, an Arcanine. I did? Yeah. My my oh. Raccoon is linked to your Arcanine. So that is species. Never mind. That is species. 
Let's go again, gosh darn it. Hopefully there is something else I can get. So we have Route 9. Uh, there has to be something else. There has to be a rare encounter. Okay. Then I'll keep it going. I will keep it going. Ooh, this one has Intimidate. Oh! So good. So good. I'm going to go... Uh, I don't think we're going to get... We're going to we're gonna cliffhang with this encounter, but I want to get the area so I can jot it down. Okay, Memorial okay. Hill, that's what I thought. Yeah. I got myself a big pearl. A preemptive cliffhanger. Oh, yeah, now they know. They saw the cliff coming up. They saw a sign as they're driving. Cliffhanger ahead. <laughs> Let's see. Come on, Growlithe. I think you called that cliffhanger perfectly because it looks like I'm going to be fishing here for a hot minute. You just got to get oh! a, a different month. I mean, if if you think there's nothing else there, then you can go with Growlithe. I mean, it's not a bad mon by any means. Yeah. No, you're you're right. You're right. I, I just hope that cast. whatever the rare counter is, it's something decent, and you don't pull up like a Caterpie as your rare. Yeah. Counter. After sitting here the whole time. But nah. If I get one more encounter point, and it's a and it's a Growlithe, I'll take it. So I'm gonna say at that point, you just you have to go with it. Yeah. I might have to walk out of here and come back. Because I did so much fishing. Let's see. What if the rare encounter Memorial Hill? Like Yo, if that's my rare encounter, I got you, fam. That's going to be... Okay. That's, that's a pearl. We're getting some nice pearls here. About to make a necklace. Oh... Christmas tree. I need, you, I need you to decide. Like, make the decision, Shady, to catch them on. There we go. Okay, here we go. Bam! It's and it's a growl. <laughs> I'm catching it. I'm catching it. Is it male or female? It is going to be a male with Intimidate, so I'm happy. Male fire type. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh, it's just I'm glad you didn't get a Rayquaza. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that face. It's, it's male. male. Well, all Cascoons will be male. Oh, really? Silcoon really? will be female. Is that how it works? Oh, yeah. I, I think you... Uh, I don't know. I'm no, not no, no, sure. No, actually, no, no, no. I don't think so. I don't think so. I take that back. I take that back. I take that back. I take that back. That's not true. It's not true. That's a falsehood. Look at that. Complete page in the Kokodex. Nice. Come on. Rotund. Come on, give me my female casting. Come on. I was excited for this and <laughs> And now what we get. That's so why you don't get excited about things, folks. Female casting. There we go. A That's a quick and ball and a half. Yup, 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 yup. Come on. What? Slam How? The box. How does the quick ball not work? I'm that makes rock no sense. I'm clicking rock team. Whoa, whoa, wait. It's still I'll a pair. It. It's still a pair. I'll do it. I'll do it. You know what, Shady? It's the exact same pair as the other one. The other one is a rat bug fire. primary bug, right? Uh, I believe so, yeah. Bug fire and then bug fire with the exact so same So we bug. are never choosing this pair over the other one, essentially. <sighs> Never. I would love an Araquina. Araquina is actually good. <laughs> yeah, and it's a dope. It's a dope design. It's dope every all around. Okay, so Cascoon and Growlithe. All right. What do I name this? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Dusty. She Dusty. Dusty. Dusty? I like that should have been. Uh Oh no, it's it's a it's a lady. If it was if it was a guy, I'd name it Dusty. If it's a lady, I'm gonna call it Messy. Messy. You know, from my time uh watching basketball wives on VH1, I learned that if mm -hmm. you call a woman messy, it is on. It is Stop. on. You do not call a woman messy. You call her messy yes. and she's coming for you. Coming That's awesome. for you. Oh my god. Okay. I have to I have a confession to make. This is my favorite city in the Alola region. 
Is it really? Okay, okay. Coney I did Coney not know City this. Coney City is uh, gorgeous. Coney Coney and uh, Mally City, because Mally's themed after... Look at the jelly bun! Mally City is Ooh! themed after um, a critique. Yo, you want to think about something really wild? You know how birds can control how high they're flying? Mm -hmm. Isn't that wild to think about? They're like, yo, I want to be six feet off the ground. Let me get up there real quick. And then I know exactly how much to flap to just stay at that height. Oh, I want to go 12 feet? Flap some more. That's insane. I like that. I mean, that's the Think same about as that. Like an airplane. Yeah, but an airplane is a machine. This is like a living creature that's like, yo, 10 feet up or what? And just does it. I mean, I like get what? You, right? Yeah. It's kind of it's kind of cool. And like, what makes a bird decide how high they want to fly it? I can't. I'm about to. I'm about to study birds. I'm about to be a birdologist. And tell you what. I think it's more so one of those things where like, like their starting position more so determines it. I don't you think, think birds so? consciously think. I think it's whatever external forces are messing with them. So like, if there's a car, I'm gonna fly higher. You know, if I start oh, from the top okay. of a tree, I'm just gonna keep that elevation. You know, if I want to land on the ground because something looks interesting down there, I'm gonna go down there. I don't think it's. I don't think there's as much thought put into it as you're thinking. Maybe not. I think it's maybe more not. So just whatever they're doing. Dang. Oh well. We got to go to the shop. We're going in the shop. Come with these fossils. Mmm. Mmm. No pass. Hefty boy. You are not passing. You take the letter and read it. So Link, Olivia here. This is Probo Pass. It watches the shop whenever I'm away. I know I asked you to meet me here, but it's been a change of plans. Come meet me at the Ruins of Life past Memorial Hill when you can. Mmm. Can we get a fossil right now? We have to buy it. I just spent all my money. Yo, I did too. Well, you got pearls though. Oh, I do got pearls. You're right. Uh, medicine. Ooh, freebies. I'll sell this for the for the fossil. Pass, pass. How much does the fossil cost? Do you remember? I want to say it's probably like four grand. Oh, that's not bad. I'm gonna ask this chick right Let's here. See. You gonna buy or no? Plume and armor. I like the plume fossil better. How much is it? It's seven grand. <laughs> Yikes. Can I sell here? Yeah, you can I sell can right sell here. here. Okay. Seven grand. I have 322 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna sell this X accuracy. Yeah. I got um, it. I got it. I don't have a nugget laying around or anything. Do you have a big mushroom sell? or anything? Big mushroom sell for 25. Ooh, I do have a big mushroom. Uh, oh, I can choose between skull and clover. I'm gonna go skull. I have a tiny mushroom. You know what's crazy, Shady? You know, I learned this in Reborn. You know the incenses sell for 4,500 a piece? What? Yeah. That's nuts. So are we, we're just doing we can buy one fossil from this lady and that's our encounter, right? Yeah. I might sell this rare candy, Shady. How much they sell for? Five grand. Ah, uh, I would probably do it. I would do it. Right, Trading a rare money. candy for a Pokemon. I got my money. Let's get it. All right, I'm snagging the plume fossil. You can so where do we revive them? Uh, you remember the the park, the the where the dude with the trailers at north of? Oh Washington? yes. Mm-hmm. Archon was the first bird Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, let me slide back up to Route 8 and see what these here fossils are going to be randomized into. So, since this is a static pair, we cannot determine whether they're male or female. Yep, uh, the it don't matter. The only that would hinder us from using this is if they're the same primary typing. Yes. We're eight soul links in. But I'm just reiterating because I know someone's going to say something. Yeah. And it's a good reminder for me. <laughs> All right. Come on. I do have a fossil. Turn me back into Pokemon. Come on. I heard the cry. Mine's uh -oh. actually a crown. So they're not, they're not randomized. Are you sure? Unless it's like the starters. <gasps> what? That's actually kind of wild. 
That's a really good pair! That is a... Oh my gosh! But we'd have to get rid of Giratina and Zygarde to use it. I know. It's power in the PC. That's a but... really good pair! Oh my gosh. Whoa! Well, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, because Victini... Unless Victini's... I... Victini doesn't have a gender. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, Victini does not have a gender. No. I want to like cool. it's de it's definitely primary fire. I I want it to be primary psychic, but I I know it's primary fire. I honestly love riding that one too. The way his paws slap are so satisfying. Beautiful. Reginald has a poison barb. What would you like to do with it? <laughs> yeah, our box is stacked. He is primary psychic. Yeah. So we wouldn't have to get rid of oh. Yeah, we wouldn't have to get rid of Magmar and Giratina. We'd have to get rid of Mega Beedrill and Wobbuffet. So once my penance is done, once I've paid my <laughs> penance, Victini is hopping on in. Well, no, we still have to get rid of Zygarde. Oh, Z you're right. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. And Good Boy Never has mind? been too much of a good boy. Yeah, Good Boy is, well, now he's good boy. Good Boy is too good. He is Yo, literally actually, an extra good. Liability has Moxie? And his naughty nature doesn't wait. Does naughty up special attack? Naughty, I believe, up special. I'm not positive, but no, it ups attack. Oh, that's actually a dangerous mom then. So if we ever did add those other ones to the squad, your new ground type would end up having to be, of course, liability. And then we are rash, which up special attack, which is really good for Reginald. Yeah, that's dope. That's mega that's dope. A, Yo, we that's actually a cool do have so much power in the PC. It's insane. This, I'm telling you, this Soul Link is the most powerful Soul Link we've but had. 100%. You 100%. have a Dark Rye and a Victini. That's dope. <laughs> I have a Magna Zone. I have a Needle Queen. <laughs> I have an Araquanid. I have a Charizard. I have an Infernape. I have a Haxorus. I have a Conk Elder. I have a Powdon. I have a Starmie. I have a Manectric, a Lantern, a Crocodile, and a Superior. Yeah. Insane. What? What? Oh! Wait a second. You have a Scizor too, Shady. I have an Azumarill. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wowzers. Anyways, we got our encounters. We could get Memorial Hill, but we're going to... Uh, Hang that cliff. Cliffhanger real quick. Next episode, we're going to head to Memorial Hill, get our encounters, uh, and I think we're going to be uh, meeting a new character as well. <laughs> oh. Either way, if you guys enjoyed today's episode and you want to show your support as a proud one of the Nappy Nation or the Shady People, make sure to like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. We will catch you guys next time over on Shady's channel. Until then, we are outie. Thank you all so much for your support and thank you for checking the video. Oh.